All right, let's go over this question for chapter 18. So chapter 18 is on principles of electromechanics. Uh, we talked about electromagnetic principles and then we uh, did some analysis on uh, magnetic circuits. So right now we do have this uh, magnetic structure and we need to find the reluctance, the equivalent reluctance of this whole structure. So we need to find our equivalent. And also the flux density of that bottom bar. Okay. All right. So I will divide this whole structure into three main parts. Okay. One of them is the U-shaped magnet, which is this one, upside down U. One part is the bar, and one part is the air gap that I have two of them available. And they're the same, right? Because uh, this mag magnet is actually symmetric from here. All right? So the flux line that, because we have this MMF, because we have the um, winding here in the magnet, we're going to have an MMF. And the MMF will, will produce a flux. Right? So the flux, um, let me do it this way. And we said that we will take the mean of the length. So this is the whole flux line that we have. If you want to see, uh, if, you, if you want to know what is the um, direction of this flux, as I mentioned before, the right hand rule. So you have to uh, put your four fingers in the direction of the current, okay? The current is going down, but look at this part. The current is going here under this magnet, right? So you have to put your four fingers there. So if I put my four fingers behind the magnet, and the current is going down, then my thumb is actually um, in the direction of the flux, which is to the left, right? So I have this flux direction. Although in this question, I didn't need to have the flux direction. I just wanted to show you how we can find the um, flux direction, okay? Now, if I want to find the equivalent reluctance, means that I have to find the reluctance of each part of this magnetic structure. So what I have in this structure, as I mentioned, I have the reluctance of the magnet, the U-shaped magnet, plus the reluctance of the gap, plus the reluctance of the bar. Okay, so these R's, just assume them as those fancy R's that are um, reluctances. Let's find them one by one, okay? Let's find RU, which is R of that upside down um, U-shaped magnet. So RU. RU is equal to the length of the flux line inside that part of the magnet. So this is the um, equation for the reluctance. Over mu multiplied by the cross-sectional area that the flux will see when it is passing through this U-shaped magnet, okay? All right, so let me just delete this flux line right now because I need to show you the lens here. So the flux line inside this U-shape, we said again, that we are considering the mean. So this will be this length of the flux, then the flux is going down all the way to here, and it's going down all the way through here, right? So if I want to find out what is the amount of this actually length, what I can do, uh, let me grab another color, This part, since we are actually um, considering the mean, so these two parts in the, um, let me actually draw it a little more 
symmetric so you won't get confused it's not symmetric okay this is better so this part and this part are equal because we are considering the mean okay what is that amount here the amount is 0 0.01 over 2 right so I can say that this part of the flux line will have 0 0.01 over 2 the length as well as this part of the flux line right 0 0.01 over 2 now let's find out the rest of the the length of the rest part, rest of the parts of this um, flux line the part that I am drawing in green let's see what is the amount of what is the length of this flux line if you come down to the bar to this bottom plate the bottom plate that I'm calling it the bar we have 0 0.1 meter as the length of this bar but we know that this green is from here to here so it's technically 0 0.01 minus so the green part is 0 0.01 or sorry 0 0.1 minus 0 0.01 again minus 0 0.01 why because I have this whole part as 0 0.1 this part this right part is equal to 0 0.01 and this part is equal to 0 0.01 so the length of that green part is equal to 0 0.1 minus um, 0 0.02 which is 0 0.08 okay what is left the two black parts are left still the uh, for the flux line for finding their lens erase this let's grab another color okay so i need to find this part right this purple one if i go over here the purple line that i want is this part plus this part right we are considering the mean so here this purple one is 0 0.01 over 2 and the second purple one the the one here over here is 0 0.05 minus 0 0.01 right and that would be 0 0.04 and we have two of them because one is on the left now if I want to find the whole um, length of the flux line inside this upside down U U shaped magnet I have to add them all so L U is actually equal to I have those two purple parts that are 0 0.04 which is 0 0.04 plus 0 0.04 plus 0 0.01 over 2 plus 0 0.01 over 2 this, these are the purple parts plus the green part that we found out it is 0 0.08 plus the pink parts that are 0 0.01 over 2 plus 0 0.01 over 2 over 2 okay so LU will be equal to we have 0 0.16 this one this one and this one plus 0 0.04 over 2 that is 0 0.18 meter okay so we found LU now I have to find AU which is the cross-sectional area that the flux will see when it is passing through this upside down U. 
So I'm going to delete these um, lines of the flux which in which I wanted to find the lens. So I can show you where the cross-sectional area is. Okay, so that flux line that was passing through the magnet, you agree that it will see this cross-sectional area. Let's cut the magnet from this point. So this is the cross-sectional area that it will see, which is the same through all this U-shaped magnet. Why am I saying that it is um, the same through all parts of this magnet? Do you agree that this magnet, from wherever that you cut it, you're going to have a cross-sectional area as a rectangle, okay? So the rectangle will have a length and a width, right? So you see over here that this length is actually equal to this length is equal to this length because this is equal to this bar and equal to this one. 0 0.01, 0 0.01. So the cross-sectional area over um, all parts of this U-shaped magnet is, uh, is the same, okay? So this rectangle will have a, a length and a width. The length is over. So see here we have 0 0.01 and this part is also 0 0.01. So the cross-sectional area of the U-shaped magnet is equal to 0 0.01 multiplied by 0 0.01 and that is 0 0.0001 meter squared square okay what is left mu so mu i i'm in the magnet my magnet will have a relative permeability with respect to air multiplied by the mu of the air and mu r is given in this question as 10,000. so here i can easily find the reluctance of that u-shape magnet the part that is um like a u the upside down u Okay, so let me go over here. R U is equal to L U was zero point one eight. Oops. Over mu r which is 10,000 so it's 10 to the power of 4 multiplied by mu 0 is 4 pi multiplied by 10 to the negative 7 multiplied by a u a u is 10 to the negative 4 here okay and then the reluctance of this u-shaped material will become 1.43 multiplied by 10 to the five okay so this is the reluctance of that um u-shaped material now what i want to do um let's go back here so i need to find the other reluctances as well so we found u-shape the u-shape magnets reluctance we need to find the reluctance of the gap so let me make the figure bigger so you know that this is my gap as well as this one. And since this magnet structure is um, symmetric, we're going to have the same length of the gap. Okay? So let me go down here and start writing it. R U R G is actually equal to, we can say is equal to RG1 plus RG2. And I know that they are the same, so I can find one of them and multiply it by... So that is equal to, don't forget about these two. Here we have L of gap. Now, what would be the mu of the gap? What is inside the gap? So the gap is the air gap, right? We have air inside it. So the only mu that here we have is mu zero because I don't have any material, any magnetic material in the air. Multiply by A of G1. So L of G1, if I go up here, 
we have 0 0.0025 as the length of the gap, as the length that the flux will see when it is passing through the gap. So it is 2 multiplied by 0 0.0025, okay, over we have mu 0, which is 4 pi 10 to the negative 7. Now, AG1, do you agree that the cross-sectional area of the air, of the flux, uh, of the, sorry, uh, of the air gap is the same as the one that I had in my magnet? Right? So we're going to have the same cross-sectional area, which is 10 to the negative 4. All right, so this will be equal to 0 0.005 over 4 pi multiplied by 10 to the negative 11. Then we're going to have 5 multiplied by 10 to the negative 3 multiplied by 10 to the 11 over 4 pi. That is 5 over 4 pi multiplied by 10 to the 8. So this is the reluctance of the gap. Okay? Now that we found the reluctance of the gap, we found the reluctance of the U-shaped material. What is left? We are left with the reluctance of the um, bar. Okay? Before I move to the reluctance of the bar, I just want to show you something over here so when the gap when when the flux comes to the gap we will have this flux which is the flux that we are talking about okay and we're gonna have some fringing fluxes like this okay so we didn't cover the fringing fluxes here in this class so we are only considering the straight flux over here okay so this was the r of the gap and we have to find the r of the bar so i'm going to come back here the length of the flux in the bar so we know that this flux is coming in over here until this point right so this is the length that i have to choose so that length is 0 .01, uh, 0 0.1 minus these two points, these two parts. These two parts, we calculated them before. That were 0 0.01 over 2, right? So L of the bar over mu 0 mu r. So why am I having mu r? Because... I have the magnetic material in the bar multiplied by a of the bar so we said l of the bar is 0 0.1 minus 0 0.01 over 2 minus 0 0.01 over 2 over 4 pi multiplied by 10 to the negative 7 multiplied by 10 to the 4 multiplied by cross-sectional area of the bar is actually this part so if I erase these the cross-sectional of the bar let's just cut the bar from some point over here so this is the cross-sectional of this bar so the area is actually this part multiplied by this part right which is 0 0.01 multiplied by 0 0.005, okay? So, let me write it over here that A of the bar was 0 0.1, 0 0.01 multiplied by 0 0.00, um, what was it, 0 0.005, right? 0 0.005 okay all right so now we need to calculate these so on top we're gonna have 0 0.09 over 4 pi multiplied by 5 will be 20 pi 
okay, 20 pi, because this is 5 multiplied by 10 to the negative 3, this is 10 to the negative 2, so I choose this one, uh, I actually multiply these two, then I have 10 to the negative 3 and 10 to the negative 2 is 10 to the negative 5, multiplied by 10 to the negative 7 will become 10 to the negative 12, multiplied by 10 to the 4 is 10 to the negative 8, and that will give me 0 0.09 over to the negative 8 over 20 pi and that will become 143.2 multiplied by 10 to the 3 okay so uh, let me just calculate this um, rg quickly as well 56 so we have 5 over 4 pi which is 12.56 and that will be 0 0.39 0 0.39 multiplied by 10 to the power of 8 okay so I found all the um, equivalent resistance uh, reluctances now this reluctance plus this reluctance plus this reluctance will give me our equivalent okay so this is just a sum of all three which I will leave to you to sum them up so R of the u-shape plus R of the bar plus R of the gap that we found all three of them okay now, the other part of this question, it asked us to find um, the flux density in the bottom bar, okay? The flux density, what is flux density is B, right? Let's see how I can find um, the flux density. So if I come down here, flux density, we know that phi is equal to B multiplied by A right so I have the a of the bar because I am looking for the B of the bar I have the a so I can say that B of the bar is actually equal to Phi over a of the bar okay so I need to find Phi right so I need to find uh, the magnetic flux so the magnetic flux, if I go up here, I do have an MMF over here. So there is an MMF F equal to N multiplied by I. That MMF is actually creating a flux, right? So the MMF is creating the flux. So I can write, um, let me just erase these two. So I want to write here. F is equal to an I. And I know as well that F is equal to phi, which is my um, flux, magnetic flux, multiplied by the equivalent reluctance, right? So down here, I can find phi as the MMF over R equivalent. This is that F. What was F was equal to NI. N was 100 turns and I was 1 amp. It was given in the question. Over R equivalent. And R equivalent, I found it over here. So from this, uh, for this part, phi will become 3.9 multiplied by 10 to the negative 6 Weber. Then I'm going to put this phi over here in order to find the flux density of the bar. So the flux density of the bar, B, will become 3.9 multiplied by 10 to the negative 6 over the 
um, the cross-sectional area of the bar. So the cross-sectional area of the bar that we found, if you remember, it was 0 0.01 multiplied by 0 0.005. So it's over 0 0.0005. And then you can calculate this. Okay? All right. So in this question, we reviewed how to find the uh, reluctance, how to find the um, flux, the flux density, the MMF, 